What's up, guys? Um, in this video, I would like to show you my Chris Wetter. Um, this is the the case that come with it. Um, it has a logo here, but it, it's pretty cheap. The material I already found a crack in one of the corner, um, so don't expect too much on with this case. So uh, let, let me show you the pistol. Uh, one thing I noticed is that uh, it gives you the warning, the message on the paper that is good because some gun they print that uh, please re review the owner, owner's manual on the gun so but this one is just give you a paper here that is a good news because instead of some gun they actually print it like on the on the body of the of the, of the frame and this one just give you a paper that is a good thing uh, it only come with one seventeen round magazine. It's a clock magazine. I don't know why it's only one. Uh, maybe they assume everyone has clock magazines. That's why they only give you one. Uh, the lock. It does not have a logo here. Uh, print like like Chris Ratter. Uh, it's just a generic lock. And uh, the menu. This is the one I bought, the basic one. Uh, it's the FDE version. Uh, I like I like the white and uh, the black, but the white is out of stock. The black is uh, is a hundred bucks more, so I just get the FDE one. Get get the FDE color instead of a black color, and I uh, see that this is the one I bought SDP. And I didn't get the the enhanced version because I. I bought the the uh, Mark one, well, uh, the handguard separate separately, so I'm going to install this in this video. And I, you could see I didn't get the the brace, uh, or or the stock version. I uh, I'm not ready to SBR it. I want to try it first, and decide if I want to SBR. Uh, I didn't. I think those those braces are ugly. So. I bought the brace from uh, A3 Tactical. I will also install this in this video. One more thing is uh, it comes with some cleaning tools and a uh, fiber cough. I don't find this. They didn't give me the sticker on inside the manual like other guns. Instead, they put the sticker on this bat. So I need to need to be disappointed. Because I, I like those stickers, even I don't really use them, but uh, I don't know why they put it on the back here. Uh, let's start. Let me take the pistol out and put away the box. So let me... Pull it on scale. It's a five pounds, ten ounce. Uh, for this size, I don't consider it a light weight, uh, but it's not that bad. This is a five point five inch barrel. Uh, the the f the flat potato is pretty light. It's huge and it's heavy and it is it's secure too. Uh, yeah, some 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 gun they come with a cheap one and then you keep walk out. Uh, this one is pretty good. Uh, charging handle is metal. Front side, rear side, uh, or the uh, yeah, it printed crease here. So I I believe they make it. Is no button. You have to flip it by hand. Two two aperture setting. Uh, this is the small one, and uh, the big, the bigger aperture, larger aperture, like like this. Okay, so safety here uh, on both side. Magazine release only has one, only on one side, and uh, the bow, the bow catch, only only on one side. This is metal. This is uh, polymer. This. Metal. This is a uh, polymer, and this is polymer too. And this is metal. Um, the, the QD sling mount. 
there has there, there's a storage here uh, the cover is matte uh, is, is polymer so it's pretty big you can put some uh, batteries yeah you can see the frame is a uh, is a uh, polymer so I thought about to uh, put two tones color so this is the five arm parts the lower I consider this is lower so this part I want to make it black but uh, the upper is sold out and I don't know when it will back in stock so if I if it if it is back in stock I want to do two tone this part will be FDG this part will be a uh, uh, black color another thing I want to mention is that uh, this is the gen 2 um, it does not have the hinge so no folding uh, hardware here instead they come with the end, end puck so there are two sets screw here uh, you just need to use the uh, Allen tools to, to lose it um, lose them both of them uh, after after you lose it lose lose them um, you, you can just uh, just unscrew it um, like that it's pretty easy there's no no resistance um, you don't even need the tools or you could you could use the tools but um, I find that it's not necessary so here you go um, you can see the the set screw created the the dent, the dent here um, okay uh, let's move on um, as I said I bought the A3 tactical it's a kit so inside the kit it comes with the the the, the arm uh, the adapter the Picatinny adapter and the tail hook this is the mod one uh, it's not the compact version I will compare the compact version later on so let, let's uh, start to install the adapter so th first thing that is you see the gap here so you need to lie up to those uh, set screw so you will uh, so like at the end you have to lie up that to the to lie up these two screw here to those two set up set set screw uh, and one more thing is uh, you have, you need to lose lo uh, you, have, you have to lose these two screw um, otherwise you you don't know when uh, you, you you cannot make it fresh uh, I will show you um, so let, let's start to do it so we just turn it caught rise and until you you get that flush see that uh, until you see no gap here um, so you can see you, you leave a little bit out outside here um, let's see see you see the gap here so you turn and then you don't see the gap so that that is good enough and you need to line up these two screw to that those set screw. Um, here you go. So you can see that those two, those two, and line up these two, um, and then tight tight it up. By the way, don't um, let me don't use the don't use tools to try to try try to make it tight. Because th this is really soft, I already scratch it by using tools. Don't use the tools like that. Um, don't you don't you don't have to. I mean you don't need to. I already make some scratches. Um, it's really soft. This this material. Um, it's aluminium, so it's not it's not the steel or something. Okay, take up these two and and do, do those two. Um, it, it, it's already are uh, tight enough, but just just do the rest. Alright, 
So, let's move to the next step. We could, we could test this. I need to lose it more. Now um, we can install the tail hook. Uh, it come with the the kit come with the 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 mod one C already sold out, so I bought the regular size. Um, I think both look good. Uh, people say this one more comfortable and bigger. Uh, should be more stable when you use it. Let me show you. It, it will look like this. If it is the if you install the the original one, the bigger one, it's the compact version. So uh, so since I have uh, I I have that already, so I I would keep that in the box, uh, brand new. So maybe I could sell that later on. I could compare that. The Differences is huge. It's, you could tell. Uh, most people like the smaller one because it's uh, especially when you if you have a SP five, you want the smaller one. Uh, some people prefer the big one because it gives you more contact, and uh, if you actually put your arm here, it's actually more comfortable than the small one. So let me open up this one. Yeah. So you put your. Uh, uh, for um, let's put on the scale, three point three ounces. That one is uh, four point six ounces. Uh, it's not much different. It's uh, only one ounce, one point three ounces. This one. Let me put it back to the to the package, and let's do this one. Oh, um. Let me I'm not going to make it like perfectly straight. Uh just just for showing you guys. Yeah. It's it's, it's not good. Turn it a little bit that way. Okay. Uh, this one is not the the sick. It's not the sick one. Uh, it has a button here. It's easier to throw. After the throw, it look like this. And you. I don't think you could uh, open it like that. You have to pass the button. Yeah. It's still brand new, it's uh, pretty hard to pass it now. I think you will lose a lot more. I put some oil there. Um, so after this, let me put it on the the weight. It added like some weight. Uh, it's like six point four five ounces. So if I add that, uh, the 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 handguard, the well I want to install. Uh, I guess it would be a lot heavier. Um, 
it's a six pound 14 ounces if i put the can there um let's see how how will be seven pounds uh eight ounces so i will show you uh let's put me then let me put the, weight, put the scale of weight So that will be look like this. Oops. Keep hitting stop, sorry about that. Uh, see pistol will be look like that. It's it's a lot longer than the original. Uh, first if I want to put this on you can see that the barrel is, is inside the handguard that is not good yeah first uh, we got to remove the flat protector and you guys could uh, buy the buy the barrel extension uh, if you don't want to do the barrel extension you could do the flash can uh, you see that is a uh, pretty long here. Um, you you you. I think the the flash can you have to buy the huge one or or the linear come. I don't know if you could find it that big, but uh, that long. Uh, so I decide to use my can here. I have a three lock already. Um, so I bought the three lock uh, from adapter from a rocket. So you just need to install the um, the adapter here. That's it. So and uh, get the tools to tighten it up a little bit more. Yeah, the tools like that. You're using this 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 portion, this session. Um. Okay, you don't have to make it. You don't have to make it super tight. Um. Because when when you when you uh, install this, and you will take up a little bit more, so it's a quick detach three lock. You pass it down all the way. Yeah, see you you turn it more here, so it's. Also, you have to make sure it didn't like. You have to like shaking it, see if it's wobbling too much. Otherwise, you 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 may like have a problem on the end end cap strike. They call end cap strike or whatever strike. It's not good. I mean, you will bolt bolt this up. Um, so let's uh, see. See this? It's longer now. Uh, I mean, it, it 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 it's longer than the than the than the handguard itself. It come with a four screw, two two on one side. So after that, you could consider to move the front side to to here. Uh, 
give you the better radius. Or I if I if I don't use the can, I may just remove this because that make the gun kind of long long. Um, see this. When I when I opened the box when I unboxing it's like this big this long now it's like this long. I could give you idea how long it is. Um, so if I don't count the suppressor, it it is like twenty. It passes twenty. 20 it's about twenty nine point five. Uh, twenty twenty nine point five inches. Okay. Uh. Okay. Let let since I'm, I have the, the measurement here. Uh. Let's see. It's uh the length of pool is uh fourteen, thirteen something less than fourteen. Which is over thirteen point five. Um. Okay. One. Oh, I want to show you that. Let me try to pass that button again. Uh. It should lose up in. I could throw it now. I want to show you this. It's, the handguard does not touch the the, the suppressor, so it get, it has enough room. Uh, may, maybe you you guys want to know about this. Um, okay. Something I didn't do is uh, the function test of magazine um, button. It drop free. I know other YouTube p YouTube guy they make fun with that button because you may pass it when you are shooting. I don't see is is um uh, if it is possible but uh you need to get use of it. Don't don't put the thumb here. And yeah. Let me see if the lock open. Yeah, empty magazine here. Put it and you should lock open. It's pretty hard to wreck now because it's still brand new. So it it, it actually lock open the bolt. And the magazine uh, sorry. Uh the bolt catch with this is working fine. Let me pass it. So yeah. And the safety is working. Now now it's a fire position. Let me put on safe. Couldn't fire. I put on fire. Yeah, it fire. Okay. Um, yeah, that's all. Uh, I think I covered most of the stuff. If you guys have questions, you, got, you could ask me. Um, so this is the how it, how how it's look like after all the install, all the installation. I mean the 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 brace and the hand guard and the suppressor. Yeah, still hard to pass that. So, so one last thing is, uh, I bought the extension. After you put the extension on, this is the lower portion. I just put it here. I didn't install it yet. It give you, it give you like twenty. 20 more, uh, like 23 more run. Okay, now I disassemble the 17 uh, rounds magazine. They come with it, the Glock one. So this is the instruction. So you, I did the number one and number two, and now we need to do number three. So you said uh, using the original uh, Glock this way and uh, slide in that way Oops. oh this way still didn't work oh it worked you go you see this and that um, and put the Original follower to the new spring. That is the number four on the on the chart on the chart. So here you go. 
and put it inside. I think it's this way. This way, yeah. Let's see. Here you go. It fits. And what else? Uh, put the last part. Wait a second. So put the last part. This way. Yeah, just. I don't know if I need the tools. I'm gonna try to use my uh, by hand. Yep. Okay. That's it. Uh, hopefully, it works. You put it on. Cool. That's all. Um, after the installation. So today we did the handguard, the magazine, and the towel hook brace. I hope you enjoy my video. Um, thank you for watching.